Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2021. So today I am going to give you guys a tour of my new 2021 planner. This is it right here. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I use my planner basically as a very uh, kind of decorated and pretty to-do list. Now I got this one on Zulily because this one is not available anymore. It is the large size, the, I think they call it the big size. Um, the classic size is way smaller. Anyway, um, I also ordered a gorgeous Teresa Collins Happy Planner, kind of like a goal setting planner. I'll show that in another video. It's gorgeous you guys. So if you even remotely are inspired by these types of planners or these types of videos or this planner in particular make sure you subscribe if you think this is gorgeous wait till you see the Teresa Collins planner anyway I switched from this planner this was my last year's planner before that I used Heidi Swap I think I did a tour of that one as well I love the way this uh, what am I saying? Every year, I love my planner. Like, every year. So I can give a more in-depth um, tour of this one and also of my Heidi Swap planner. Here's an example of the Heidi Swap planner. It's just a little different. I love Heidi Swap planners. Just, I mean, look at these monthly divider pages. Like, they're just so beautiful. I love Heidi Swap. I miss this planner. I might be going back to this next year. I never know which planner. it's, But it, I do definitely, as you can see, love my... What is this? Oh, it's a planner charm. i got to move this over. Um, I most definitely have a theme, as you can see. I love this type of blue. I love florals. Here's the Webster's Pages one from last year. So definitely that doesn't change. I definitely have a, a style, but I can tell you when it comes to these planners, whatever style you like, whether it be bold and bright or floral or muted colors, whatever style you have, believe me, you'll find a planner that's right for you. So I might do a flip through of those because I don't know about you guys, but like, I feel like every video on the internet is happy planner. So as you can see, let me move it away from the ring light. So you can see the cover is gorgeous. I love it. This is an undated planner as well. I usually buy undated planners because when I see one that I love, I will buy it. So I'm going to go through each of the month dividers just to show you because that's usually one of my favorite parts all right so this first one says this wonderful life of mine <laughs> this could be on every single one and i would just be so happy it says hello with the black background and the floral and then you probably cannot see very well but i'm shining it there you go it says wonderful life down here in foil this one is kind of like a little love letter for to yourself in calligraphy with that pattern again. This is just a simple and with the floral and this time a peach background. A green uh, kind of foliage page. Which, by the way, when there's a page like this that I kind of like, oh, that's pretty but it's not kind of pretty enough. I wanna show you, this is my Webster's from last year. I'll do something like this where I, see like the Webster's ones were completely plain. You just had in foil the, the month. So I take cards or you can take Polaroids. Um, you can add a to-do list and just kind of decorate it. So you can um, definitely decorate it a little more we've got the same stripes that we had on the inside front cover this quote says these days are the days are long but the years are short ain't that the truth here is the same um, 
font with the happy and the floral on a lavender background. Another black divider page. This one says, be brave with your life. This quote is, nothing is ever really lost to us as long as we remember it. Just some kind of positive words today. Hello, memories, love, life, every day. This pattern, this peach with the silver, is funny because um, a few years ago my daughter had a happy planner and this was the pattern of it. And then, last but not least, is the more there is more to life than increasing its speed. Okay, so those are the monthly divider pages, which are always my favorite part of a planner. On the inside, you're going to find the month at a glance pages. So here's an example of my August where I had, you know, doctor's appointments and award ceremonies and Facebook lives, groomer appointments, um, trips, day trips, uh, things of that nature. Okay, so that is kind of what I use that for. And then you start with each week. Okay, so on week one of any given month, and on this particular planner, um, I believe each month, yeah, each month has kind of its own pastel color theme, I think. But um, on each month it has here, now this is for memory planning, but so it's going to have a lot more kind of fill in the blank type of pages, which I don't mind at all. I love that kind of stuff. So on week one for this week, it's going to have a fill in the blank for what you are loving what you are thankful for, what you're thinking about, what's uh, where you're going, what you're wearing, what you're excited about. And then, I love this, there's a spot for your favorite picture, which if you don't have like an Insta, an Insta, Instax, is that what you call it, or one of those mini Polaroids, you can just print a picture and uh, put it right there. Or you can cover this with a sticker and make this a to-do list or add um, an inspirational quote. So there you go. You guys, a planner like this is just, it's customizable, especially when you start buying stickers and washi tape and, um, what do you call it, peel and stick um, kind of post-its, a decorative post-its, where you can, oh, by the time you're done, this looks like a completely different layout than what it started. Okay, moving on. Page two, or week two, um, has a little bit different... You know, this one says, enjoy every moment and a heart. And this one says, favorite picture this week. So the picture areas up here. Uh, and then here it says, noted. Week three. Uh, it says, loved these moments. So it's got five bullet points. You can use this. You can cover that with a sticker that says, to do, from your Happy Planner sticker book. You can do to do's. You can do... Uh, you can cover that with a grateful sticker and write down the things that you're grateful for or your goals for that week. So again, this is what I mean. It's very customizable. Once again, we're back on week five or four, can't even remember, of this month with a, another kind of fill in the blank with the same category. This must be week five. Uh, and then it just repeats and then on the back of each month so they're all the same just different colors is the the memories so here you have monthly milestones your favorite moments this month your word of the the word your word for the month or your month in one word what you celebrated this month here, and then what you were grateful. You can also eliminate these prompts and recategorize them so that it's your goals for the month, or if it's your business, you know, the appointments that you had, or your list of clients. And then one last thing to show you about this planner that I love is at the very end, there is more memory keeping um, opportunities. So, 
my god, this planner is just so gorgeous. Wait, is this whole thing? <gasps> Shut up. This whole section back. I could have done a whole separate video on this. This whole section back here is memory planning. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to flip through it quickly or this video is going to be forever long. So here's a, a prompt that says the the best day. Here's where you can journal about it and add the date or what the event was. Oh my god, I just love this. And on the back of that, um, I guess you could either do a different one or continue journaling about the event that meant so much to you. So here's some a graph area where you can scrapbook some images. Okay, so I see. It's got several of those so that you can document the days that meant the most to you throughout the year. All right, here is some pages where you can document some special birthdays throughout the year. So, um, um, and then on the back, uh, I guess it's for more journaling, more pictures, and there's several of those pages. Oh, and I didn't notice before, right up here, you can add the date of the birthday. Okay, and then here's where you can journal your vacations or even your business trips. And in the back, more spaces and blocks for pictures, quotes, and things of that nature. Okay, let's see, is there anything else? So here, what is this for? There is more to life than increasing its speed. This is just some basic journaling pages, I think is what's coming next. So the same quote from the cover, from the divider, some journaling spaces, some blocks for picture inserting, sweet memories, so you, more of the same. Here's one for the summer. Oh my god, how cute. I love these little designs, the barbecue, it's adorable. Um, and then your favorite moments from summer. There's one for autumn memories. It? They didn't do winter or summer? Oh yeah, they did. Um, things that you're grateful for. And in the back, more spaces for uh, pictures. Here's another 30 days of gratitude, just laid out a little differently. And more of the same. Here is a Merry Christmas memory planning page where you can... Um, Memory plan, again, your favorite tr holiday traditions, boxes for journaling and pictures, and then the same on the back. I mean, I love it. So that's it, you guys. Um, I hope you loved this planner tour. I am so excited to get started on my planner. I couldn't, I didn't want to like start decorating it or writing anything in it until I um showed it to you guys but do you love it I love it I'd love to know what planner you you guys are using let me know in the comments and um, make sure you follow me on Instagram where I post a lot more pictures I post a lot more there than I do on YouTube obviously make sure you give the video a thumbs up that definitely always helps um our channels here on youtube and make sure you comment below letting me know what planner you're using for 2021 all right you guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video